So excuse my voice, but I have so many thoughts about this horrible, terrible iPhone news that basically just came out. So essentially what just happened was with iOS 16.4, the beta that I just reviewed yesterday seemed pretty good. There didn't really seem to be a lot of crazy changes. Actually, in fact, the only changes that I saw that a lot of people reported on were positive and they actually looked pretty good. But now it looks like one of my biggest fears ever has basically now came true. Apple has now been cracking down on the beta profile section of basically their operating system. And it seems that, you know, to a lot of people out there, Apple is going to be now moving away from those beta profiles that they, you know, kind of allow people to install now to only locking them down per Apple ID and basically not allowing us to, I, I'm assuming to use beta profiles at all. Now there's a few things to keep in mind here. One, this is totally fine from a development perspective. Public betas are still going to be available. So even if you don't want to, you know, if you're afraid of the betas not being there when you want to install them, you can always install the public betas. Those are, I think, still going to be free, hopefully, unless Apple changes something there too. But this is my main concern. This was the only way we could install third-party applications not too long ago. For the last bit of time, I've kind of been out of it. I haven't really been installing third-party apps on my iPhones, really only on my Androids now. But now that Apple has moved away from this, this kind of showcases to me one of two things. One, either Apple is going to now wake up randomly and going to allow us to install third-party apps. But two, which is more likely, Apple is going to crack down even harder and not allow us to install third-party applications on our iPhone which is weird. They allow us to install third-party apps on our MacBooks. They allow it on probably some other Mac iOS devices, including iMacs, Mac minis, but also Windows allows us to install third-party apps. Android allows us to th install third-party apps. It's a very common thing out there for a lot of developers, manufacturers to allow us to install those applications and to have almost free use in our phones. If Apple allows us to install apps on our macOS machines, what is the problem with them installing and allowing us to do it on our iOS devices? It's the same Apple company. It's the same type of product. Does Apple think we're going to... Is Apple allowing us to install malware and viruses on our Macs? Well, why doesn't Apple tighten that down? They know if they do that, there's going to be an uproar. So in my opinion, this is just another step in Apple kind of tightening things for no reason, making more rules for no reason at all, if this is truly what it is. Now, if this is only particularly for the beta profiles, then that's totally fine. I don't really think anybody's really going to care too much because you can still install the public betas. But if they are not allowing us to even have this workaround of installing beta profiles of different applications and whatnot, I feel like Apple's taking a step in the wrong direction and they need to focus more onto how they can, you know, make more money in other ways outside of iOS rather than tightening us down inside of our own ecosystem. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.